Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So this retails for £27 in the UK and $40 in the US. It just came out in the UK last week, I believe. Um, and I had to go and get it. <laughs> so it comes in 24 shades. The shades are marked by numbers. It goes 0 0.51, 1.5, 2. Um, and whether or not there's a 0.5 or 0 0.0 is whether or not it's a cool or a warm undertone just so that you can um, work out your shade that little bit easier. So this foundation comes in a pump. Um, it is an airtight pump so rather than um, air being traded into the space where the foundation is there's actually this little uh, seal that then moves up. So the foundation is always going to be airtight and it's not going to oxidise. So you get 30 millilitres or one fluid ounce in here, which is fairly standard. And it recommends that you use this within six months, which I, I should but don't always pay attention to those. Um, so this is billed as a longwear foundation. Let me just tell you what they say on the website for it. So, got plans to reunite with your hot ex over late night cocktails? Make sure your makeup has as much stamina as your date. Introducing All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Makeup that stays up. It's the ultimate foundation for a flawless looking complexion that won't fit, won't fit, won't quit. All Nighter Liquid Foundation provides full coverage with a modern matte finish that never looks overdone. Get serious long lasting wear and a blown out effect you never thought was possible. Perfect for all night affairs and other scandalous activities. Our revolutionary formula is also comfortable enough to wear every day. Blah 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 blah. Um, all nighter liquid foundation is completely matte but never flat and oil free. We loaded this formula with an insane amount of pigment, about three times as much as naked skin. So a little goes a long way. It's apparently buildable. No it's not. There's no need to build coverage. Um, it's apparently waterproof, it's got a paraben free formula and mattifies and absorbs oil. So let's see. So the next clip that I'm going to show you is me applying the foundation and it's literally just the foundation because it was too early in the morning um, for me to really want to do my other makeup because I knew I wanted this quite heavy eye look today and I didn't really see myself doing it at like half seven in the morning. Um, so let's get on to the application. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the application. I've got my Nivea Post Shave Sensitive Skin Balm as my primer. Um, I applied that off camera because it's not terribly exciting. And then I have this Illamasqua kind of buffery type brush for my foundation. When I used to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, uh, this was uh, a favourite. So I am going to assume it's going to work well for this. So. I tried this out at the weekend as well. Um, I used one of my kind of toothbrush style brushes or dolphin fin style brushes, I've found somebody calling them, which is a bit more attractive. Um, and while it blended out really well, um, the one thing I'd said in my review for them was that the neck on them was quite flimsy um, and this is quite a thick foundation. So as you can see, a little bit of this goes a long long way. Um, I probably didn't even need that kind of second half pump that I put on my hand. So this blends out really nicely. Um, I think I was right in guessing that this brush would be really nice for it. Although I'm going to get my mirror up in a second and have a proper look. Um, because my camera viewfinder doesn't really let me see great detail of whether I'm getting any streaks or anything but I mean that's the coverage we've got and that's how much foundation is still left on my hand so oops um, I'm going to put one more layer on my forehead just because my forehead for some reason always looks more uneven than the rest of my skin thing. I don't know why. Why would my forehead be a problem area when it's got next to no spots on it? But hey, whatever. My skin's just weird. 
and then I'm just going to take the rest of this around my jawline because I do have some breakouts there um, and I might as well bring this down and just use up the product that I've just wasted by pumping out too much. So I'm not in work today but clearly I forgot to switch off my work alarm. Um, time is now 20 to 8 in the morning. I got up super early so that I could um, get a proper review on this as a long wear foundation. So I'm just going to quickly finish my base um, and then come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so that is me now finished my vase, vase, mm. um, base. Let's zoom in and just show you what a nice finish this gives. So obviously, um, I've got quite a matte finish because, as you see, I use quite a lot of powder and a bake because I am an oily skinned person. Um, ignore this. Um, I try not to bring my foundation right in around these piercings. Um, but I think I have a really nice even finish. Uh, let's zoom out again. Whee. So as time goes on, the kind of natural oil, oil in my skin will kind of break through that a little bit and it won't look quite as matte. Um, I kind of like it both ways, but just in case you're thinking, oh, that's, that's really matte, um, it's not really going to stay that way. Um, so the time is now 7.46, I'm going to go and have some breakfast, um, finish the rest of my face, um, I didn't really feel like doing eye makeup and stuff at this point of the morning, um, so I'm going to have some breakfast, finish the rest of my face and come back and film an intro um, and do a kind of initial check in um, for whenever I manage to finish doing the rest of my face. So see you guys soon. So as I said, I came back and filmed this after the application. I'm just going to zoom you in and show you how the foundation has kind of settled um, and has a very natural kind of skin look to it. So that's that. Uh, just in case anybody thought, oh, that's really matte and powdery and I don't like that. So the time is now 10 to 9. Um, I'm going to be checking in throughout the day. I got up really early so that I could see just how long this is going to wear. Although you'll notice from the product description on the website, there's no claims about how long it is going to wear. There's no time limit on there. So we will see. I've seen other long wear foundations advertised as 16 hour wear, um, which would involve me being awake and wearing this till half 11 at night. Um, we'll see whether or not that happens, but I'll check in with you guys soon. Hi guys, so it is now five past one. I am just making myself some ramen for my lunch and I thought I'd do a check in. Now, straight away we'll be looking at this. Um, I decided to try and film a shoe collection and apparently half an hour of running around getting shoes out of cupboards, changing your shoes, tying laces, doing buckles, everything else um, results in some sweating and some of my foundation did sweat off across here. Um, so I will be touching that up, um, but otherwise the rest of my foundation looks pretty good. Um, it's not as shiny as I would normally be after five hours in a foundation, even without running around like that. So, so far I am impressed um, and I will check in again just before I go out to meet my friend. Um, I'm meeting her in about four hours um, and I may powder and touch up then. We will wait and see. Hi guys, so I'm back for another bit of a check-in. Um, I'm sorry my hair looks a bit of a mess. I actually just woke up from a nap. I am currently not at work because I was struggling a little bit with depression and I am saying that openly because I think people should. 
Um, it's also Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, so definitely not the time to be trying to hide anything like that. So, that being said, uh, the time is now quarter past four. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of shine going on. And I have a new spot that wasn't really here this morning. Um, so I'm going to put a tiny bit more coverage up here just before I go out um, where that had sweated off. And we're also going to do a tiny bit more powder because I, um, it's a bit more shiny than I'm comfortable with. Um, so I've just put a tiny dot of foundation back on the same brush. Um, and let's just... See. Right. I mean that spot almost vanished without any concealer just using this foundation, so that is something that I am definitely happy with with this foundation um, and I'm just going to add a little bit more powder as I said because I don't want to go out being quite this shiny it's I definitely like a matte look so um oh and I feel like I need to retouch my highlighter <laughs> So my blush looks a bit crazy, but I think that might be because I just woke up and I'm a little bit warm anyway. So that foundation I would say touches up really well. Um, I think that looks pretty much flawless again. Um, I mean that spot's a tiny bit visible, but I didn't put concealer on as you saw. Um, yeah, I mean, areas like this and here I didn't really touch up, still look pretty flawless. Um, my forehead, it was just that one area that messed up. And my nose, to be honest, usually looks far worse um, by this point in the day. So all in all, I am still loving this foundation. I feel like I'm catching more light here. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Really, I have a pet hate of having shiny skin. Um, I think it's because I have oily skin to begin with that it's something that bothers me so much. So I am now going to the cinema to see a film that I never remember the name of. Um, bad mothers, bad mums, bad mamas, bad mamas, bad female parental figures um, <laughs> with my friend's death and I will come back later and do another check-in. Hi guys, so it is now 3 minutes past 11. I was hoping to make it till half 11 to do my final check-in, but to be honest with you, I'm really tired. Um, my boyfriend's alarm went off at 5 o'clock this morning and I have to go to work tomorrow, which means I have to get up at half 7. So I kind of need to wash my face and get ready for bed and be going. So I still think my skin looks pretty damn amazing and it's not had an easy day. Um, I was running around sweating in the flat and then went out to cinema but I was out in the rain and then I was eating a burrito and just stuff and then I've been cooking dinner for my boyfriend and yeah so I still think my skin looks pretty damn good um, I have a little bit of shine on my nose but I haven't touched up my powder since about half four um, so five and a half hours this is the shine that we've got I think that's really good um, I definitely love this foundation I have a little bit of black smudge under my eye but that's this mascara, um, but all in all, oh my god, I love this. I mean, okay, we're, we're going to be honest here. It's not immune to this, which other glasses wearers will be familiar with. Um, the bits on the nose of your glasses will always make funny patterns in your foundation. Um, and if I ever find a foundation that doesn't do that, or a magic trick to stop it doing that, I will die of happiness. Um, it's going to be like my next hunt is to try and find a way to stop that happening. Um, but yeah, absolutely, oh my god, absolutely love this product. I, 
I, I now can't imagine cheating on it with my other foundations, which, given how much I love my Cover Effects Custom Drops, is is um, quite bad because uh, they're expensive and I just replaced them a couple of weeks ago. Um, but no, this is definitely going to be a repurchase. I'm definitely going to continue wearing this. I'm almost tempted to start using it for work instead of my, my NYX Mineral Stick Foundation because it's just so lovely and it's a much quicker application because you need far less concealer and everything else on top of it. So. Uh, I, I, I could just sit on camera for ages and go, I love this foundation, I love this foundation. I could sit all night and say I love this foundation, um, but I better go to bed. So if you guys have got any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to leave those down below and I will get back to you. And me and my, my new love are, are going to go now. <laughs> Bye guys.